Hello everyone, what is going on? Thank you guys so much for tuning into your informational video on how to add up the four major placements in your numerology chart. And if you guys aren't familiar with your numerology chart, your four major placements is your life path number, your destiny number, your personality number, and your soul urge number. All right, so first what we're gonna do is we're just gonna look at our example here. We have Amy Yasmin Doe. I named her this because I wanted to show you guys once we get to the personality number or the heart desire number, I wanted to show you where our Y would be a vowel and where Y would be a consonant. And then we have her date of birth being 11, 17, 19, 73. So let's go ahead and start off with the life path number. Your life path number is like your sun sign would be in astrology. It's the major placement of your numerology chart and it is the number that describes what you are meant to learn this particular lifetime, what you're meant to really break out of this particular lifetime, okay? And your life path number is added up by the numbers in your date of birth. Me personally, I use Pythagorean numerology system. So we, in the Pythagorean system, it is used by the master numbers would be consistent. You don't break those down into the end. Okay. A lot of people like to use like one plus one plus one plus seven, you know, and on so forth and so forth to add up all the digits, which, which is fine. But at the end of the day, it's still going to end up being a number from one through nine. It's not going to differ. That's why I like numerology so much because in numerology, no matter how you add up the numbers in your date of birth or the letters in your name, it's still going to end up being that same home number that's one through nine, no matter what system you use. Now, it can get a little tricky when it comes to the master numbers because in Pythagorean system, like I said, they don't break down this 11. 11 is just 11, what it is. So we'll add 11. That's it. But if you do one plus one is equal to two. 11 is still reduced to that number two. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a little example. So let's go ahead and start adding it up. We have 11 and then 17 is the date. So we'll do one plus seven and then 1973 being the year. One plus nine plus seven plus three. Okay, so we do 11 because like I said, I'm using the Pythagorean method. One plus seven is eight. And then 1973 is 20, and then you're gonna reduce that to a two. You see what I did there? So we're gonna do 11 plus eight plus two is equal to 21 slash three. So Miss Doe is a life path number three. Now let me show you where I was talking about when you add this one plus one, instead of just being 11, you add this one plus one. If you do that one plus one equals two, This becomes a two as well. So two plus eight plus two would not equal 21, it'll equal 12. And she'll still be a three. You see what I'm saying? So no matter how you add up the let, I mean the numbers in your date of birth, it's still gonna equal up to this whole number. If you want to go by Pythagorean, go by Pythagorean. If you wanna go by just adding up all the digits, you can do that as well but it's still gonna equal up to the same sum. It's still gonna be the same number in your life path number, okay? So we'll put her as a life path number three. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to your destiny number. Now, Ms. Doe's destiny number or your destiny number in your particular chart would be based on the letters, the sum of the letters in your full given name at birth. Now, some people like to use their nickname, some people like to use their name change or their married name, and that's fine. But to find out what your true destiny number is, you have to go by the name that you were given at birth and add up the um, letters in those, um, the sum of the letters in the total. You get what I'm saying? All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So A, we have one. M is the number 13 of the alphabet, so M would be four. And then Y is the 25th letter of the alphabet, so 2 plus 5 is 7, okay? Then we'll go to the middle name, which is 7 plus A is 1, S is a 1, M is a 4, I is a 9, and then N is a 5. 
Yes, N is a five. And then we're gonna go to her last name, which is Doe. D is a four. O is a six. And then E is a five. And then when you add up all of these numbers here, you come up with three plus nine plus six. And that equals to an 18 slash nine. So Ms. Doe's destiny number is a nine. If you guys can see my example there. I'm sorry about my handwriting. It's okay. Y'all read it. Um, so you get what I'm saying? So I've already pre-added these up. So that's how I know that she is the destiny number nine. So her destiny is a nine. Now let's go to where we add her personality number. Yeah, your personality number is like your rising sign would be in astrology. And it is based on the consonants that are in your birth given name. Okay. Only the consonants. So that's why, like I said, that's why I use this particular um, example because your Y is a vowel if it sounds like a vowel. Your Y is a consonant when it actually sounds like the letter, the elongated Y. Like in Yasmin, this is a consonant Y. But in Amy, this is a vowel Y because it sounds like an E. So that's how you will know if you your name is a vowel or a consonant with a Y. Because again, based on this Amy, it sounds like an E, it's a vowel. Yasmin, it sounds like that Y sound, it's a consonant. Okay, so with your personality number, we'll do M, which is four. This Y, again, is a consonant. S is one, M is four and N is five. And then D will be the only consonant in her last name and that's equal up to four. And then adding all these up, it'll be 16 plus seven. I mean 16 slash seven, sorry, 16 slash seven. So her personality number is a seven. You see how I get that? Only the consonants in her name. So let's go ahead and move on to the last but not least soul urge or heart desire number which will be what your venus sign will equal up to your astrology chart and it will be added up by the vowels inside your name so in amy we have two vowels remember we said that this y is a vowel two vowels so one plus seven plus not this y because again this y is a consonant plus a Plus I is nine, plus O is a five, I believe. No, O is a six, sorry. And E is a five. So when you add up all of these numbers, you're gonna get eight plus 10 plus 11. Okay, remember Pythagorean system uses these whole numbers, so then you're gonna reduce it again to eight plus 10 plus, I mean, eight plus one plus 11. And then it's going to be 20 slash two. Now if we went ahead and reduced this at the time, like we did eight plus one plus two. She would be a master number 11 slash two. So like I said, it just depends on what system you use. If you use Pythagorean system, she's just a general two. But if you use your own number system, She's a master number, but it still, again, reduces to that two. So her heart desire is a two, okay? So that is pretty much it, you guys. I'm sorry about my handwriting. It's a little chicken scratchy, but I tried to get it through really quickly. But those are just examples. Well, that's just my example on how to add up your numbers. I wanted to get out this video because I know a lot of people have been asking questions about how you add up your numbers 